What's going on everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shimada. Right now we're episode four, season four of The Boys. This was called Wisdom of the Ages. Um, a lot went down last we left off. Um, what really has got me perplexed is what Sister Sage used with that tool that was on the uh, table as she was kissing the deep. And it was bloody. I have no idea what that is. Hopefully that'll be explained this episode. Um, you got anything you want to add? No. All right. Let's go. Call Vaughn. Tell them leave a breach. The line's dead. Well, it's too late. Y'all about to find mm -hmm. out. I will say just get in the refrigerator. <laughs> About to kill everybody mm -hmm. down there. I see some new faces. They're dead. Where's Barbara? Last I checked, she's still director. She's off site today. I right, could bring her in, would you? All right, everyone, dig in. God, he's gonna cut everybody's head off right at the table. He what is go. it made out of? Don't eat the cake. It and could be his food. Right. Look, it could be his food. Whoa. He about to pass out. Ew. Yep. He's gonna come out that hole. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, she's back. Come on, get up. But you're, the world doesn't end just because your shitty life does. Get up. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, your father's condition meets the criteria for brain death. Wow. Might not seem like it, but it is the most humane thing. Humane? You're pulling his feeding tube so he starves to death, right? Huey, it's what he wanted. Huey. When my mom was not my ass in my grades, she was a federal judge. She dealt with really violent cases, like the worst of the worst. And there was this Russian mafia thing in Brighton Beach. Uh oh. Their boss was this woman. Uh oh. My mom was gonna make an example out of her. Uh oh. So they made an example out of my mom. Mm. So that's what he's doing. So I'm gonna broke in and find my parents first. Look at my little sister. You were there. The gunshots woke me up. I heard him coming down the hallway, so I just hit under my bed. All I saw was his ankle. Yeah. You better not have no touch of scars, all these burns, maybe. <laughs> From the shackles. Uh, a lot of nightmares about those. I'm sorry. Breakfast? Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> she shouldn't have did whatever she did. <laughs> Why? Because everybody looks the same. What are they doing? I think it's the eyebrow thing. What the fuck is he doing here? Bring him back in. No, 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 no. I don't trust him. I don't. And you're insane if you do. Okay? Girl, he can't if even you argue with you. You drink yourself to death in whatever dark hole you crawled out of. Now, what's our next move? You give me 50k from the company. And in three hours, I'll have all the dirt we need on the Hoover's guns and ammo. But there is no way I'm letting you out of my sight with 50 grand. All right, then. But I'm warning you. You ain't gonna like it. But first, a sermon by Ezekiel. Starlight's childhood pastor before she fell from God's Not the one that was doing the nasty when I was the, the boys. I'll let you knock off early and go see the fan. You better win. Okay. Excellent. I'll start. See the winner die. Now you you were sitting there, and uh, well, I was in this oven here. Yeah. Mm. 
and uh, you made the shot. You did a little fist pump to celebrate, and, and then you turned up the temperature to see if you could burn my skin. You remember that, right? <laughs> Your turn. I was just doing my job. Oh, God. Hey, Frank. This is my last shot. Why don't you go and watch from in there? John, why don't we... Homelander. I'm so, so sorry. You're sorry? Now? Why? You were just doing your job, right? Don't say that, Marty. <laughs> Talking gold tea with the gold chains. It's okay. Uh, I'm the one that called you. Are you crazy? Sage is on my ass, stares at me like I'm. Oh. I need a dose of compound V, and I need it today. Tell us for his baby. Oh, is that all? This is your chance. You don't want your daddy on V. He'll never forgive you. What makes you think I give a shit? Mm. You tell me. Who gonna shoot you? All right. If I do this, we're good. Forever? Yes. I'll tell you not. Right. Ow! What? Kimiko, I'm sorry, but it's my dad. What else was I supposed to do? Not that. Mm. Yep. Oh, that's our people. That ain't her people. that killed my friend. Yeah, cry and shame that. But if it's any consolation, he's up there with God, noshing on his holiest of holies as we speak. Shut your fucking face. All right, all right, keep your ear on, love. We just want a little chin wet, so. Talk American. Right. <laughs> you remember that magical summer when you was 28, working as a counselor at the Capes for Christ Bible Camp in Davie, Florida? And you met that lovely 15-year-old boy who tickled your fancy and it took up more than that, didn't wow. it? Hmm? Ring any bells? Here's a little keepsake snack by the Broward County Sheriff's Department that you can stash on your wank bank. You and your little beaver edging in the back of your Rav 4 in the car park of Booker the Bebo. You're gonna tell us everything you know about Sage and her grand plan. Or I hear this little tweet button here. Oh, I have I just sent it myself. Fuck around and find out. You got security cameras and stuff. Please don't get caught and get killed right now. Milk. <laughs> oh my god. Don't no, you take it. Okay, you a druggie. A train! What the fuck are you doing here? Taking V, huh? What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you left a floater in his toilet? That was there when I got here. That is the most pathetic clapback that I have ever seen. 
Well, you remember the nickname you had for me, right? <laughs> really? Squirt. <laughs> you called me Squirt, silly. You remember why? So, this one night, uh, I couldn't get finished in time, and you caught me with my pants down. <laughs> you had a really, really good laugh at me. And that's when you nicknamed me Squirt. I do want you to jerk off in front of us right now. Hey, uh, guys, come on over here. You know what? Just kill me now. You're gonna kill me anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the most on this show. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Jeffrey, come on, squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> you get hard right now, or I'm gonna lazy your dick off. <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> yes! I can't. Come on, Marty. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Honestly, it, it happens to a, a lot of guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, John. Barbara. I forgive you, Marty. Six months ago, Starlight visited a clinic. She wasn't going for a checkup. What the fuck? She found out that she was pregnant. Mm. And she had an abortion. Are those my fucking medical records? She knew the difference between right and wrong. She knew exactly what she was doing. So you want to tell me that those teens over there, that they're safe with her, with that baby killer? Hey, wait. Too late now, bro. What do you think you're doing? I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still got to lost. Look, you know. Frigid. So embarrassing. I'm Firecracker's biggest fan. I was just looking for our souvenir. <laughs> Give it up for adoption, but no, she murdered it. <sighs> so you finally came to the. Oh, sorry, ain't no talking, girl. We ain't talking right now. We're not talking. Get up. Billy, come on, get up. Girl, shut 
Shut up! Sorry. You don't get to quit. Get up! That joker is exploded. Guts everywhere. His whole back is... Mm. Dri oh! It's guts everywhere! <laughs> What the fuck happened? <laughs> we have no physical power over you. We never did. You could have broken out of here anytime you wanted. Wow. <laughs> we couldn't have stopped you, but you didn't. Wow. Because you couldn't stand the idea that we would be disappointed in you. Wow. But brought in the best psychologists in the world. Just for you. We developed the protocol to carefully engineer that need so that you would be obedient. In many ways, that was our greatest success. You sure did. I know, I'm just saying where he is black. I don't need any of it anymore. You're a liar. Doesn't matter what you do to me or the rest of the staff here. Your need for love is so deep. It's so human. Not anymore. We'll never be able to overcome that. That's where you're wrong, you know. I really do want to share with you why I called this the bad room. He gonna tell him. He tells me. Oh! What, what was you? It was you? I'm sorry. Oh, you gonna punch you in the face. You gonna be more than that. It's a lover's quarrel. It's, oh, ow, 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 ow! Psychopath! <laughs> Let you do it too. Come here. Do it. Yeah. Walk out the door. What are you there for? Come me again. Okay, now walk out. Why you have to? Why you have to say something? Oh, fucking kill me. Who's need to be said? Right. <laughs> Get out. You just choked him out. You gotta say something after that. Stab me in the brain, and the little fucking bitch grows back. Wow. I want you to put this inside me. It's the worst film I've ever seen, but... No. In my eye. Here. You give me a frontal lobotomy, and I don't have to fucking be me for a couple hours. Fucking gross. I'll let you ass fuck me while we watch the Kim and Ray J video. Okay, so where do you want to put it? Just right there? Sit down. Okay. Now avoid the eye itself. I don't want to go blind. Let me know when it's over. It's <laughs> Okay. Now, use the hammer. The hammer? Fuck. Tap, tap. <sighs> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hammer down. Scrape. <laughs> Scrape my fucking brains out.
to kill him. Come on. He's alive. Blue eyes. So does she take it from his... Is she a pit pocker? Pick, right. Pick it? Oh my God. They all in this room. Whoa. Mm. This Joker is insane. He left her there to <laughs> to look at all the bodies. To look at all the bodies, and she can't get out, so she's gonna die in there with him. Wow. <sighs> can't she get out? Huh? It looked like she was locked in there. Mm -hmm. Um. Starlight beat up the girl <laughs> on TV. She was 28. She slept with a 15 year old boy. And that's water under the bridge. That's not That's not what I was going to say. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> you collect your thoughts. <laughs> that is not what I was going to say. 20 year, 28, 15 year old boy. They had the deets on that. And they were going to put it on Twitter. And that was supposed to have been her threat. Against, from the boys to her. She didn't care. She went ahead and pushed the button so it can go on to to Twitter. Then she went out there. It's like I have a confession to make. <laughs> Fifteen year old man. That is not a man. That's a boy. That is a boy. Fifteen year old boy. Anyway, then she just went ahead and just spilled the tea off of uh, Annie talking about she had an abortion and. All the politicians basically don't want to be. Um, you're not affiliated with me. <laughs> they didn't want no affiliation um, with her because of that. If we were to really go deep into that, they do be having some really good um, issues on this show. That deals with like everyday life, like what we deal with today, and how the politicians are so corrupt in what they do to keep themselves out of the limelight in such a negative way. But they do a lot of dirt in the basement of places <laughs> where people cannot find out what they're doing. So, Highlander. Homelander. Why I keep calling him Highlander. Is there a show? It used to be a show, yeah. Homelander. Homelander's reflection was talking to him on the last episode that told him to take it back, get back or get revenge on what he knows or something. I forgot what he said in the mirror. That's the reason why he ended up in the basement and was talking to these people that actually knew him as a child. I think he said take it back to the beginning or something. Like take that. it back to the beginning. Okay, so he went to this door. He went down to this basement. And um, nobody knew he was down there because they was trying to call Vought and no, they couldn't get through. I just rem remembered that. They couldn't get through to anybody to let them know that they was going to have a visitor or somebody was in the elevator that they were going in. I mean, that the elevator was coming down. He killed every last one of them except for the person that he asked for. Had him eating cake. I was a little skeptical of that. Mm -hmm. Had no idea what that cake was made of. Could have been anything. But it, I guess it was just the cake. He burnt one guy, said that he was taking basketball shots, trash can, while he was getting burnt. And he was like, oh man, he was over here getting fist pumps and all kinds of stuff, saying, I'm like, dude clearly was not paying attention to you. He said, yeah, you did that, and then you turned on the heat and burnt me. He said, it hurt. You know, it didn't scar or, or char my skin or anything. It did hurt, though. How about you just go on in this room? No, go ahead. Go ahead and go in there. His name wasn't Mario, it was the other guy. Frank. Frank. Go ahead and go in there, Frank. Went ahead and just torched him. While everybody looked. Then poor Marty, he was like, you know why you call you call me Squirt? You know why? And then he 
went through the story. Then he made him do whatever he wanted to do in front of everybody. And he was like, okay, well, if you don't do it, I'm going to laser your, 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 your stuff off. It wasn't that he lasered his stuff off. It was a straight hole. Wow, that was crazy. Straight through. Then the woman that he actually asked for comes in the room and she says, okay, John. Because she did call him John, didn't she? She called him John. He didn't snap at her like he was doing with Marty. He said, no, it's Homelander. Homelander. Mm -hmm. I said it right that time. But he kills everybody else and leaves her in the room where he was. He said, you know why they call it the bedroom? He said, this is why I'm going to give you a reason why. He said, I'm going to tell you the reason why we call it the bedroom. And then he killed everybody in there and just let her sit in there. That is the bedroom for her now. Mm -hmm. um, Kimiko came across the young lady who we thought was um, kept hostage like Kimiko was, but clearly it was the other way around. Kimiko was working with those people to get her. Shining light. And uh, ended up fighting and said, you fight or you die. And she spoke Japanese to her. Um, and I think that's frustrating for Kimiko because she does not know how to speak the language of where she should be able to speak the language. So she had all these books and stuff. She just threw them away because she was frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody's frustrated. And then for some strange reason, uh, Butcher was able to explode, uh, implode the preacher man. While he was strangling him, he has no idea how. Why yeah. Kira or whatever her name is. Becca. Becca. I, I thought it was Kira. Laura, but it's Becca. Yeah, we call her Laura for a good mm -hmm. two episodes. <laughs> her name is Becca. Yeah, poor thing, we call her Laura. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gladly, and was like, yeah, and Laura mm -hmm. said. Well, Becca was there the whole time. And he said, he asked her, like, how did I, what happened right there? Meanwhile, who else was going on? What, what else was going on? Oh, A Train stole V from <laughs> Homelander's uh, apartment. But then, is her name Angie? Yeah, Ashley. Ashley was in there. <laughs> he went to the bathroom and came back, and he was like, That's the only clap back you got. <laughs> so go in there and use the bathroom and don't flush the toilet. He was like, Come on now. So I don't know what. Oh, okay. So here we here we are because we don't know what they discussed mm -hmm. after that. So we in a we both in a little predicament. So ain't no telling what's gonna come from that. Cause Ashley has a little power. She had a whole lot of power until Homelander started really just mm -hmm. doing his thing. But they killed off old boy, so I guess it's whatever at this point. Yeah. Um. Frenchy told Colin that he killed his family. Oh yeah, that's right. I uh, forgot about that. Yep. Yeah. Because Colin told him about uh, all these all these guys' ankle that did it and the markings that was on the ankle. <laughs> and so at that point, that's when uh, Frenchie covered up his ankles. <laughs> but uh, he told him, and then, so once he told him, you know, of course Colin beat him up and said, you know, I kill you next time I see you type stuff. Um, found out uh, what uh, Sage did with the pole. She was stabbing her own brain so she could be normal for a couple hours because her brain regenerates. If you stab her in her heart, she'll die. But if you stab her in her brain, it'll just regenerate. So that's why she uh, slept with Deep the first time because she had just done it. And so she didn't that's feel... That's why she was sitting there yeah. looking crazy. Mm -hmm. Looking like a regular person. Mm -hmm. Eating the snacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. She really was. Mm -hmm. So maybe she doesn't have an appetite until she does that. Who knows? Because I think that's the only time we've ever seen her eat. Yeah. Found out that Butcher did take V again four months prior. He stole a stash from Frenchie is what he said. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't know what happened with uh, Huey's dad. Did the mom steal the V out of his pocket and put it in there? I or? think she's a pit pocket. Right. Pick, 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 pick pocket. Right. So her. we'll find out. So the dad lives. Unless she had some V on her. Mm-hmm. She looked like she could have some V on her. Mm -hmm. She looked like she could be uh, yeah. one of those people. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. All right. So let us know what you guys thought. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. We love y'all. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up.